Greetings Saints, welcome to Chaplain Peter One on YouTube. And my website is eternalvaluesministries.com. Go there and visit it sometimes. I do a lot of studying and writing on it. <clears throat> and also some videos. Now I want to speak about a video I just made. Righteousness, Justice, in government. This was a comment that I made um, to some article on, um, on on the internet in my email. And if you if you scroll down, let's see. And we look down here. Oh yes, it was about concerning politics breaking. Trump breaks, Trump breaks silence on Sheriff Joe, Joe Apar Apario. And then I wrote down, get ready for riots. <laughs> um, as you know, Sheriff uh, Joe, I believe, what's his last name, Apari Apario, in Maricopa County, Arizona, 85 years old, a righteous man, doing his job, um, but of course accused of racism like, like always, you know, you're either a homophobe, a racist, or Islamophobe, or you know, whatever they can come up with to, to ridicule and dumb down the public, make people scared, not to open their mouths, to have an opinion, to have a, 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 their own belief, as I believe what the, what the scriptures say. And as I uh, wrote this, uh, this thing and read it again, I thought it'd be a good idea just to, uh, to share with you um, the things that I uh, wrote down here. Because I wrote down about um, Obama, Soros, the Clintons, in that we can include the Bushes also and others of uh, like manners, secret society, skull and bones, and high-ranking masons that are involved in destroying the nation. Senators, um, Congress need to be executed. Now notice, I'm not saying we need to go out and kill them. <laughs> uh, they need to be executed if found guilty for treason doing things against our government where people are to be put to death for treason. All right, this is done in a legal way. This is what government is for, Romans 13. You can have a righteous government. In the Old Testament you had righteous kings. And when the kings were righteous and they made righteous laws, the scripture says the people rejoiced. But when you got these uh, wicked, evil kings who, who uh, make uh, laws that are wicked and evil, like let's say uh, marrying two men together, having men dressed as women going into the women's bathroom, this is pure evil. This is insanity. Um, and, and things of uh, this nature, you know, having uh, Black Lives Matter uh, chanting, you know, uh, how do we want the pigs, the police, you know, we want them dead. And then uh, four or five policemen shot in Dallas. This is lawlessness. And it's not just Black Lives Matter, it's all kinds of people, this Antifa stuff walking around with communist flags, ISIS flags, black flags, uh, covering their faces as if they were uh, Al-Qaeda or ISIS. They don't want to be, well, that's what you do when you don't want to be seen. When you got something to hide, you cover yourself up. You're guilty. Right? And um, so, and, uh, and just lawlessness, lawlessness, lawlessness continues on. So what, I, what I'm writing here is, I'm not, I'm not speaking about we're to be vigilantes, we're to go and to uh, start killing these people, 
these politicians and stuff. No, the uh, the ones on the uh, what they call the left, they're the ones that uh, are making um, all kinds of slander and death threats against the sitting president, President Trump. You don't you don't do that kind of stuff. They need to be arrested and prosecuted. All right. That is not free speech any more than screaming fire in a crowded theater and everybody goes into a panic and runs and they trample people to death. That's not free speech. But to have an opinion, to have a belief about homosexuality, about Islam, about transgender, this is labeled now hate speech. Okay? This is the government persecuting the Christians and others who have a right mind. And what they want to do is they want to bring this in. This is demonic, satanic. These are Luciferians in the government, the world government in high places. I've made videos on it. Look up my video on elite pedophiles and others like that. Um, they sacrifice little children. They sexually abuse them. These are sick, sick people. This is real. And you got your head in the sand like an ostrich if you are a blood-bought Christian. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you've been born again, and you cannot phantom this stuff, it's too much for you. It's time to wake up because this is reality. And soon they're going to come after us because they have to. All they can do is lie, steal, murder, destroy like their daddy the devil, John 8, 44. And so, what I'm speaking about is righteous judgment. God is a righteous judge. When I go out preaching on the street, uh, people come up to me, what are you preaching? God is a God of love. Well, they should be so fortunate that, uh, you know, God, God loves them. They are fortunate that God loves them, but that does not change his uh, right, righteous indignation against the wicked. This doesn't change, and there's going to be a big judgment. God's going to allow these people first to come after us, the saints all over the world, to break the people of the covenant. God is going to give us over to Satan to be tested, to be tried. A fiery trial is coming like the Apostle Peter said. So if we had a righteous government, we would root out, like they're saying, drain the swamp, start executing traitors according to the law, start imprisoning people uh, in corruption, um, the Clinton Foundation, taking money to a foundation and then going to speak somewhere getting 500000 Dollars. That's the payoff. That's the payoff. And, and all the, you know, um, emails, emails being burnt, bleached away, gone. What, what is going on here? And so wherever it is, the corruption, whatever party it's in, people that do these things need to be brought to justice. So that's just what I wanted to say and then also, when I talk about the synagogue of Satan, read, read about the seven churches in Revelation. It speaks about the synagogue of, of Satan. I believe it's chapters 2 and 3. I may not be exactly correct, but you can find it in the, in the, in the beginning of Revelation. And they, are, they, are, they call themselves Jews, but they're not Jews. And God says, I hate this. He hates it. And these people are set up in our government and they're doing wicked, wicked things. Soros, Soros, George Soros is a perfect example of this. A Jew himself confiscating and turning Jews over to the Nazis. Henry Kissinger said to Nixon when Israel was in big trouble and uh, they were surrounded by the enemies, by the, by the Arabs, about to be wiped out. Henry Kissinger said to Nixon, let the Jews bleed a little. Let them bleed a little. See, these are, these are people 
that take things like the Holocaust and they use it for their own advantage to take over, to take over. And this is what is, so I'm saying, these need to be purged. The federal law uh, reserves got to go. We need to print our own money. These are the things that need to be done. But will they be done? We are so far gone, right? And there's a lot of cowards, a lot of people on the take in the government, a lot of perverts and pedophiles in the government. So it's, it's very bad, it's very serious, it's very unfortunate. And as I closed this thing out, what did, what did I say here? I said that as Christians, we are not to take the law into our own hands, but we are to preach the gospel even to the wicked. For many of us have come out of these abominations. Many of us were just like that, and God saved us, right? The Lord Jesus forgives and saves anybody that comes on to him and calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So just understand, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't gone nuts, but if we had real government, righteous government, man, they would root out and they would execute, imprison, do whatever it is according to the law to these traitors in government right now. Saints, I love you. And God bless you, and trust the Lord, walk close with him, because the day is evil, man. Redeem the time, buy it up, saints. We're in an evil time. Repent, repent of things, of sins, saints, and walk with the Lord. I love you, and the Lord loves you.